if you've been on the Disco Biscuits for a couple of days, you've been hitting it hard. I don't know a better meal or a better place to come. How do you know it's a kebab? <laughs> what? <laughs> I've got eyes. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we're with uh, the wonderful Ben Spire again. Give him on a look, peace and love. We have requested a kebab. And it turns out, Ben, that this is probably the top rated yeah. kebab house. Has come out in many a conversations. Looking forward to you telling me what it's like. Smells good. So I've got the mixed here. And funnily enough, there's a guy in the queue before us. And I said, is this a, a, a good kebab here? And he was like, he literally burst out laughing. like, this is the best kebab in the beefer. Um, and I've got to say, Jesse, it comes in this like kind of flatbread that's cut in half, which gives you that really gnarly, crunchy bit on the outside, fluffy on the inside. And so I don't know what's what. He had the chicken and the beef. I've got garlic sauce in there and chili sauce, loads of salad. Beef? Yeah, I said it's lamb, he said no, it's like kind of like a beef mix. But Jess, don't ask too many questions. <laughs> it's a kebab, isn't it? What isn't it? Eyelids and arseholes, pretty much. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's going everywhere. It's like really thinly shaved. So much so, it's like, it's like almost translucent. F***ing word of the day that is, by the way. <laughs> if you got that word in Scrabble, you'd, that'd be a killer, wouldn't it? Translucent. Game over. Nan, pack up your shit, you're done. It's over. Anyway, very thinly, and delicately sliced. Mmm, that's good. I'm gonna turn the company to you a little bit. I feel like it's going to be an intimate kebab review. Oh, it is. Now, let's stop f***ing around. Let's just dive into this, shall we? Are you ready? Crunchy. Big crunch. You know what? That's a ripping kebab. <laughs> what does this remind me of? I've got like a... It's got sweet corn in there. I've got all the salad, my love. <laughs> I just want to have a look what's inside. Stacked full of meat. Stacked full of salad. Wow. This is a barnstormer, Jess. A donna is, dare I say it, quite clean tasting. Not too heavy, not too fatty. And this bread is a star of the show. Similar to earlier on. There you go, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> the predator star of the show. It's like this. Bread that's been put into the like some kind of panini toasty grill. You get this like proper big char on the outside. It's still quite fluffy on the inside, Jess. Mm. See that? Super soft, super fluffy. We've got that sick char on the outside, the sauce. None of it's overpowering the bread. What is the sauce? Uh, that's a garlic mayo, it's on like a cheese sauce in there, like a feta in there as well, I think. And somewhere in it, I think I've got chili sauce. Or, or not, I don't know. Nothing's overpowering me. Best kebab in the beefer. Look at that. If you've been on the Disco Biscuits for a couple of days, you've been hitting it hard. I don't know a better meal or a better place to come. And let me tell you why. I've got two drinks. Big reveal, by the way. Aquarius. We'll come to that. All of this, all of these exceptional goods, hydration, flavor, uh, imminent death, kebabs, <laughs> clocked arteries. Clogged. <laughs> 10 euros. All that, 10 euros. Don't even know how much it was by itself, but whatever. It was fast service, good value. And do you know what? It tastes wicked. Really, really impressed. Ben, you weren't wrong. Good. 
Yeah. Where's the other? You said there's one other place, yeah? There is one other place in Santa Eulalia, S Verge it's called. They do one pizza and one kebab. And that's it? And that's it. <laughs> I thought you'd be talking a bit longer than that. <laughs> that's why I smashed it in. <laughs> Yeah, obviously I'm the kebab king. Self-appointed. That's right up there. You get different types of kebabs. That for me is in the clean, more healthy side of the of the kebab graph. Very impressed. I could eat that all day long. Very, very impressed. All right. Here we go. I think this could even be like the main event. <laughs> oh God. What is it? So it's orange. So you're saying, uh, Ben, this is the it's, energy... It's kind of an energy drink without the nonsense in it, but it's, it's really good. Is this a Spanish thing or an Ibiza thing? I don't, no, I, think it's a, I don't think it's a Spanish thing. I don't know, if I'm honest. <laughs> just Guys. I don't know the, the history of yeah, the, the drink. I don't know the history of the drink. I just know for years of coming to a beef house. Oh, to you two, I'm not asking for the history. I'm just want basic facts right now. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's just drink it and we'll see. Very good. <coughs> first things first, it's still, not fizzy. Hi. Uncarbonated. Yeah. Yo. Um, that tastes like a flat, unsugared LucasAid. Yeah, yeah. Like a LucasAid Sport that's um, like a clean LucasAid Sport. Love it. And you said there's another flavour which is also good. Lemon. I'm not sure it's a, a, such a healthy version of LucasAid. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. not so healthy. It's, it's not healthy? No, it's definitely not healthy. It's oh, okay. Not, no, it's got sugar in for sure, but just not as much as LucasAid. Well, it tastes good. <laughs> So, look, another review done. I'm so glad we've got a kebab. What is this contraption I'm holding here? It feels like a, it's like one of those Chinese finger traps. You have to be an Einstein to work out to get it out. There we go. A kebab on the page, a few new things in there, but one thing is the same, that homely taste. I absolutely chuffing love Meat that's been cooked on the spit. I don't know what it is. Just it, it's home for me. You can't beat it. And all of that for ten euros. Probably the best f***ing value we've had since we've been here. God bless. Um, Kebabs. Get them on one last time, Jess. I don't know why the city isn't turning out. The island isn't turning out of this place because this is a rock star meal. Um, time for a score. Now, I might be getting a bit carried away with my words, but one thing I will not be getting carried away with is the score. Where does this stack up, Jess? This is the hard part. Good bread. Excellent bread. Got some sort of... Good salad. Although I don't think you've had a, a morsel of salad. <laughs> you've been eating around it. What, you what are you trying to say, Jess? <laughs> you've literally eaten around the salad. Have I? Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Jess? I'm gonna give us a big score. And they should be very, I'm just getting lost in the moment here now. They should be very proud of it because as a barnstormer, cool, kebab lovers, here in Ibiza, come and check it out. I'm gonna give this, this is gonna edge over the nines, Jess. Whoa. Yeah. Bloody hell. I don't wanna push this into like the, a, a nine point, 9.25, first ever. Dog watch. Does the dog want some? No, no, no. Okay. no, no. <laughs> God, a strict diet. She's not a kebab fan. I think she's speaking on behalf of the dog. I think the dog would have definitely. Oof, that's not a dog. That's a sick dog. Right. Score is 9.25. Big. Barnstorming, sexy score for Cubabs Ibiza. Look, got a lot to live up to. Thanks for watching, everyone. And that was a review.